Hello again, and TGIF, seriously, thank goodness it is Friday, um, and it is a wacky Friday to say the least. I thought that maybe I could head into work and at least, you know, catch up on things and work leisurely, if you will, and get a lot of things done. That was not the case, but I'm sure we all predicted that, but it's fine. It's the weekend. And I'm looking forward to having some time to relax, seeing a band that Scott likes, and heading into Philadelphia. So I guess on that note, just a heads up that Vlogmas will post a little bit later on Sunday just because we are out of town, but I am not sure any of you really care if I'm posting at the same time every day. There are so many Vlogmases to catch up on that I don't think that you're going to be severely impacted. I know I won't feel severely impacted, so I'm I'm sure it's okay. But I hopefully it will grab some cool content while we are in the city. I, I sound like a YouTuber by saying that, but we are going to try to do a couple cool things and I'm going to get um hopefully some clips to share with you about about those cool things. Um and I will make sure to include them in the next Vlogmas, but I did want to make sure you knew that it was going to be a little bit late tomorrow. So I, again, I'm sure it's fine. Despite the hectic day, I was able to knit on my cozy knitter advent using the fairground socks pattern by Kay Jones of Bakery Bears. And I think it's coming out really well. Every time I share a picture of this with really well anyone, um, either in my Instagram stories or in my knitting groups discord, people seem to really like the pattern. Um, it lends itself really well to stripes and for everyone who's saying that it's difficult to see the the definition between each of the stripes and that it's making it hard to knit a stripe a day i think this type of pattern really helps with that because at this point i can say okay one repeat of this pattern is probably one stripe and so i just do a repeat of the pattern maybe an extra row every day and that has been working out really well and keeping me on track nice sweater from my old job thanks got it for free yeah well you know one wacky job to another i suppose troves blizzard of hops had this one i think i've had times. that one i can't remember if i liked it or not i like though. it it's good I think I it's did. very hoppy but uh yeah it's good, hoppy, not too bitter. As expected. Yeah. All right, we're back at it again. Uh -huh. We're gonna be out of town tomorrow. So instead of drinking two on Sunday, we're gonna do two today. Well, yeah, you don't wanna have too much fun on a night before work. I know. Oh, this sounds good. Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Cocoa Porter. I bet you like that. Yeah, we might be visiting these guys in uh, April. Louisville? Very chocolatey. Yeah. Very good. I, I, just, did, I just did beer number nine. And I was going for oh. nine, but that's wrong. <laughs> Your favorite. A pew pew. A pew pew. Maybe we can actually figure it out. It'll only take us like three days to identify what it's supposed to be. Oh, this I know. I give up. You still haven't hung up any of your ornaments. Yeah, it's not true. Oh, this one's not for me. What is it? Oh yeah, that's for me. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got dangles. Yeah, a moon and some stars. Lucky charms. I mean, a rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. I like that one. What you got for me today, Tony? Good things come in small packages, right? Sea salt, milk, chocolate, caramel. Trixie's ready for her advent, please. 
Well, Trixie did get her wish as it was time for the doggy advents. However, as I mentioned yesterday, Ziggy had his trip to the vet to take a look at his tummy troubles. It was time for his annual appointment anyway, so it worked out and the vet seemed to think that Ziggy's getting a little spoiled on the treats. So instead of treats tonight, he had freshly cooked chicken and rice and a a huge part of me thinks that maybe he is doing this a little bit on purpose. Today's Disney Villains Tarot Ornament was Madame Leota, again, from my favorite Disney attraction, Haunted Mansion. The Haunted Mansion ones are apparently the reason that Scott got me these ornaments, so he is really happy that they're starting to pop up all in a row. Um, I guess... You know, honestly, I am too. So as a lot of you know, especially from my Vlogtober, I am a subscriber to Feminist Book Club, big fan. And I got my December book of the month from them today. And the theme for this month is nostalgia. So the way that this works is they choose two books every month. One is fiction, one is nonfiction. You get to kind of pick your preference. I just have like, send me whatever surprised me. So here's actually a note from the founder and the book that I got this month is The Secret Lives of Church Ladies. And let's see, should be a relatively quick read, I think, but essentially um, here's the back if you want to read a little bit about it. It sounds like it's going to be really interesting just from the brief overview that I read about it online. I'm not sure when I'll pick this up. Honestly, this will be probably a January book for me at this point because I want to wrap up the book that I'm currently reading and then get to one or two of the book of the month books that I got that are holiday slash winter themed because tis the season. So this will probably be a January book. I do like reading the feminist book club books because they are often not books on topics that I would gravitate to, but I have literally enjoyed every single one of their selections. So I would encourage you to check it out if you are looking for, you know, something to mix up the type of things that you are reading about and um, interact with other people in the club. They have a mighty network, just like a lot of other people in our knitting community do. They they were, I think, the first community that I joined over on Mighty. So yeah, they're over there. It's a fun community and I don't know. Go check it out. Instead of tea tonight, we chose to end our week with boozy hot chocolate because reasons. Tea was not the vibe after this week, to be honest with you. Um, but after I calmed down from the crazy week that this has been and knowing the crazy weeks that are to come before the end of the year, I was able to work on my go-go throw at least a little bit. I'm finally on to the fourth color. It seems like this has been super slow going just with everything going on. I really thought I would be making more progress, um, but that is not the case. But I'm still enjoying it, and I know that I have some time off coming up where I will be able to fully indulge. So, you know, I'm just gonna, just gonna keep rolling with the punches and enjoy the knitting time that I have. All of that to say, I am going to end it here for the night. Reminder that Vlogmas tomorrow will be a little late just because we are on the road, but then we will be back to our regular schedule on Monday. So I will see you tomorrow as always, and I hope you have a great one. Bye.